Hi, welcome to our channel Good News. The rivalry between Samsung and TSMC is getting more intense as the former is anticipated to start the first mass production based on a 3 nanometers technology in a few weeks. When it comes to sales, South Korean tech giant Samsung has long lagged behind TMSC, the largest contract maker of semiconductor chips in the world. However, the epidemic has pushed all industry participants to act quickly and adaptably. Consequently, Samsung would quickly catch up to TSMC in terms of mastering the 3 nanometers process technology. For foundry industry giants like TSMC, the sophisticated process has now evolved into the gold-absorbing password. The overall revenue for TSMC in 2021 will be 365.83 billion yuan with income from 5 and 7 nanometer products accounting for half of this amount. Chip production has steadily moved from 5 nanometers to 3 nanometers due to the rise in demand for high-performance computing. Intel, Apple, Qualcomm, AMD, and other companies have currently all entered the 3 nanometers war. Which chip design business can thus take the initiative in this competitive market and secure the first 3 nanometers order? Who will begin mass producing 3 nanometers first in fabs, in the meantime? Okay, let's keep discussing about this subject. The modern chip has entered an era of sophisticated production techniques. Due to the fact that only two foundries may use advanced manufacturing. Businesses that need sophisticated manufacturing, process technology include Intel, Apple, Qualcomm, AMD, NVIDIA, and a number of other companies. Process, TSMC and Samsung, while the Chipsung Elector, for semiconductor firms, the rivalry over chip technology is really a contest over the quality of their products. Chip makers must begin a capacity fight in order to defeat their rivals. The first 3 nanometer chip in the world will be produced by one of several firms because to increased competitiveness brought on by the brand new technique. Currently, the fight includes Intel, Apple, Qualcomm, AMD, and many more. Let's first look at what is happening with the Intel. Despite being an IDM firm, Intel currently lacks innovative methods that are compatible with 3 nanometers. Intel must strive for 3 nanometers if it wants to regain its position of dominance. Because of this, Intel is now one of TSMC's rivals for 3 nanometers production capability. It was stated that Intel was forced out last year. The 3 nanometers process from TSMC will be used by Apple as its first client, primarily for the production of its next-generation CPUs and graphics products. About 4,000 pieces make up the initial batch. To contend for production capability. In order to increase TSMC's advanced process manufacturing capacity over the following two to three years, Intel CEO Kersinger flew privately to Taiwan in December of last year. Intel anticipates that TSMC will be able to construct a unique supply line for the 3 nanometers process so that Intel may increase its 3 nanometers production capability. The announcement that TSMC intends to start a new production line was announced a month later, in January 2022. Intel's new manufacturing facility in northern Taiwan will make 3 nanometer chips. In light of the foregoing data, Intel has successfully defended its 3 nanometers production capabilities. How about Apple's then? Third generation M series processors based on 3 nanometers are anticipated from Apple in 2023, with TSMC choosing to produce them. As well as a 10 year client of TSMC. The ability to produce 3 nanometers chips for Apple, the largest client, should be assured. Apple has now paid a sizable sum up front for TSMC's 3 nanometers manufacturing capability. According to the existing circumstances, with the rise. As more businesses begin to produce on the 3 nanometers manufacturing process, the competition among GPU and DPU producers will likely intensify. The competition for 3 nanometers between fabs and their partners. The 3 nanometers breakthrough is especially significant at a time when chip design companies are still engaged in a bitter battle for wafer fab production capacity. Whoever establishes leadership in 3 nanometers mass production will control the market. The apex of the future wafer manufacturing sector and possibly have an impact on the product roadmaps of chip behemoths like AMD and Nvidia. There is no question that only TSMC and Samsung can currently compete at the 3 nanometers node. 
According to current reporting, however, both TSMC and Samsung have had trouble producing 3 nanometers in large quantities. Recently, a report quoting insiders in the semiconductor sector said that TSMC was having issues with the yield of their 3 nanometers process. However, TSMC has not yet made any public acknowledgement of any N3 delays, instead, it has said that excellent progress is being made. In comparison to the 5 nanometers device, the logic density of TSMC's 3 nanometers chip will grow by 75%, the efficiency will increase by 15%, and the power consumption will decrease by 30%, according to prior publicly available statistics. According to reports, TSMC's 3 nanometers process started hazardous trial production and small scale delivery in March 2021 and is anticipated to begin commercial production in the following month. In 2022 second half, customers including Intel, Apple, Qualcomm, and others have all selected TSMC. In 2023, TSMC will effectively have a monopoly in the market for 3 nanometers chip foundries that has a market share that is about 100%. In contrast to TSMC's yield issues, Samsung's 3 nanometers challenge is that it has less patents and other intellectual property created in the 3 nanometers GAA process. Samsung's absence of 3 nanometer related patents. Samsung has qualms about the GAA procedure. Samsung's 3 nanometers GAA technology improves logic area efficiency by more than 35%, decreases power consumption by 50%, and enhances performance when compared to the 5 nanometers manufacturing process. Around 30%. Samsung has not provided information regarding the customer side. The IDM powerhouse, which had been testing the waters in the foundry industry, returned to the market after Pat Gelsinger became Intel's CEO last year. They also presented some pretty lofty goals at the same time. The 2 nanometers technology will be mass manufactured by Intel in the first half of 2024, according to Pat Gelsinger, CEO of Intel, who reiterated this point during the investor meeting on February 18. Since this mass manufacturing period is sooner than TSMC's, the foundry industry will face competition from TSMC two years from now. It will become worse before it gets better. The transistor produced by TSMC is a 3 nanometers process. Samsung has a density of just 170 million slash MM2, Intel will achieve 520 million slash MM2, and density is around 290 million slash MM. The transistor density of an Intel chip is more than 79% more than that of a TSMC chip and more than twice that of a Samsung chip. As a result, Intel has certain benefits over TSMC and Samsung's more recent generations of process technology on the same process node in terms of the Moore's Law-related Transistor Density Index. Whether TSMC, Samsung, or Intel will ultimately prevail at the 3 nanometers node will only be determined with time, but based on the current circumstances, TSMC may be marginally superior. This video merely touches on the surface of the rivalry for 3 nanometers. In fact, there are practically a number of producers vying for each link in the complete industrial chain. A design firm, a manufacturing facility, or a packaging facility, for example, cannot stop the rate of research and development of sophisticated technologies even after Moore's law has reached its limit. Advanced manufacturing techniques are important for both national security and the growth of the industrial chain. Technology will rule the globe in the future. The golden rule is this. Thanks for having your watching in this video. You can add your ideas or suggestions below. Please keep following our channel and like our videos.